According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, about 36.7 million people in the world are living with HIV. Although there has been a tremendous improvement in the management of HIV, lies are still spreading fast. All right, so hello everyone. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you are near, you are very much welcome. My name is Tamla Loyetola and I'm a medical doctor. I film about faith, medicine and lifestyle. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some lies and also truth about um, HIV, its management, just everything about HIV. I've been making some videos about HIV and hopefully this will be the last. But before I proceed with the content for today, please endeavor to watch this video to the end. It's very important. Please like this video, share with your friends and family. And of course, very important, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, so the first thing is that if you have HIV, people think that it's the end of the world. Now, if you've watched my previous videos on HIV, I've talked about this a lot of times. Being diagnosed with HIV is not a life-threatening condition. It doesn't mean that your life has come to an end. It doesn't mean that you're just going to drop dead and, you know, that's just the end. No, you've not come to the end. It's just a curve in the corner. It's not the end of the road. Now, you need to understand that if you use your medications as prescribed, you get to a point where your viral load is very suppressed. And at that point, you won't be able to spread the disease. And also, you'll be able to lead um, a healthy lifestyle. You just need to take your medications as prescribed, easy peasy. The second thing is um, quite similar to this, and I feel like I've already explained it with this first point. The second lie is that a lot of people think that once you have HIV, then before you know it, you're going to have AIDS. Now, the good news is that not everybody that is HIV positive progresses to AIDS. So the AIDS is when the opportunistic infections come in and then the immune system is very much suppressed. Um, please, you can just revert to the previous video so that um, you understand more about AIDS. But you need to understand, like I've said in the first point, that if your viral load is suppressed, you use your medications as prescribed, then you won't go on to having AIDS. So no, it's not everybody that is HIV positive that will eventually have AIDS. It's actually in your hands. The ball is in your court. You do what your doctor tells you to do. Use your medication like your life depends on it because it actually does depend on it. Then the chances of um, progressing into it is actually very, very slim. Number three, HIV can be transmitted by holding hands. This is not true at all. I believe that this is just an attempt to promote stigmatization about people that are living with the HIV virus. Now you need to realize that simple things like holding hands, hugging, um, sharing cutleries, um, living in the same space with the person, sharing the same air in the same location will actually not improve chances of transmitting HIV from one person to another. That's a lie. And if you've been believing such, please, it's time to discard that. Now, you need to understand that HIV can only be transmitted from um, infected blood infected semen, vaginal fluid, or infected breast meat. Otherwise, holding and sharing cutleries, hugging, living under the same roof with a person that has HIV would not increase your chances of also um, having the virus. The fourth lie is every HIV um, positive pregnant woman will always infect their um, babies. That's actually not true. The first thing you need to understand is if you are HIV positive and you are planning to get pregnant, please see your doctor for preconceptional counseling. Then your doctor is going to guide you on what to do and how to um, reduce your viral load and prevent transmission to your unborn child. Now, you need to understand that if um, you are taking medications and your viral load is suppressed, then the chances of um, transmitting it to your unborn child is actually high. Furthermore, there are medications that are given to the child at birth for like the first four to six weeks, um, which would reduce the chances of the baby being positive. More so, if your viral load is so high and uncontrollable, then your doctor might um, tell you that you need cesarean section, and that way it would um, reduce the chances to less than 10% of um, transmitting the virus to your unborn baby. Number five, I can know when my partner is HIV positive or I can tell it just by looking at um, a person that they are HIV positive. That's wrong because there's even no placard on anybody's face that, oh, 
um i am hiv positive i mean even if the person is already having aids and they're already um emaciated and all they're not going to know because it's not only hiv aids that can lead to um wasting right so the only sure way to know that a person is positive is by doing a test in fact, someone can be positive and then be initially asymptomatic. And remember that I said that in the earlier um, stage of HIV, they would have um, non-specific um, illnesses, non-specific symptoms. So you can't even tell for sure. So don't gamble, don't deceive yourself thinking that, oh, you're just going to know that your partner or your friend is HIV positive. If the person does not get tested, there is no way you're going to know. The stigma around HIV in the world, I think, is actually very little these days. So you could actually just walk up to a hospital, a laboratory testing center, and get your um, self-tested without anybody questioning you or looking down on you or, you know, trying to stigmatize you for wanting to get HIV um um test number six mosquitoes spread hiv so um a lot of people believe that since one of the ways that hiv is transmitted is through blood that insects that bite people can transmit the disease um from one person to another for instance they want to believe that if uh, a mosquito has bitten an hiv positive person then if the mosquito should bite another person then the chances are high that um the a mosquito would infect uh, the non-positive person with the virus but you need to understand that that's not true when you are bitten by an insect they don't inject the blood of the previous person that was bitten by them into your system no it doesn't work that way you also need to realize that if hiv can be transmitted through insect bites then a lot of people that are living in um endemic regions for malaria for example people living in nigeria then we should have a higher um, number of people that are hiv positive so if hiv cannot be transmitted if an insect has bitten a positive person and then goes ahead to bite somebody who is negative no i mean if it works that way then the population of hiv positive people in nigeria would be alarmingly high the last um lie on my list is i don't need to worry about hiv because there are medications yes thank god for medical breakthrough thank god for medical miracles there are medications that can suppress your viral load and keep you from um, transmitting the virus from one person to another but you need to understand that there is no cure for hiv it can only be managed now this is one of the lies that um, people tell themselves that help them to engage in end damaging behaviors i mean um at least i can use medications right understand that there is no cure for hiv and that it is lifelong that means that you have to pop pills every blessed day of your life most things that have advantages actually also have disadvantages so for instance medications would always have side effects it's one of the things they teach us in pharmacology by the time you learn what the medication is um used for then you'll be told the contraindications and the side effects now hiv medications are not exemptions they also have side effects so now you need to understand that prevention is better than cure choose your struggle do you want to um, engage in practices that would actually put you at higher risk of having hiv and then you deal with having to take medications all of your life and then living with the side effect of the medications or you want to err on the side of caution and then you don't engage in um, health damaging um, activities that will make you positive and that way you are safe because prevention is better than cure all right um thank you for watching i'm sure you've learned something new um this is the end of this video um please don't forget to like this video share with your friends and family subscribe to my youtube channel please it's very important and of course i'd like to see your comments in the comment section now remember to spread love and not the virus um spread the truth about hiv and not the lies spread um <laughs> spread love and not stigmatization until next time please do stay safe and remain blessed